Hello students and faculty of BYU-Idaho, my name is BJ Elkington and this is my video presentation about my, my internship position with Bonneville High School in the Counseling Department from January 2014 through April 2014. The first question about the internship is how did I find it? And for me, my internship was not something I was just doing to pass the time or to have one to say it was done. I wanted to find something that could lead to a potential future career, something that I would be interested in doing long term. And I wound up talking to a bunch of my different professors um, and other students in the department trying to find out about internships. And for me, it took quite a while to find one that I thought I would be interested in. But I wound up talking to a friend who was an intern at a high school counseling department. And that sounded like something that I would be interested in um, because I would have the opportunity to work with students help them change their lives, but as well as I would be in the school setting where I could maybe hopefully work in the sports department as well, which was something that I was very interested in. And so I decided to pursue that route. I called a bunch of different um, schools in the area, most of which had already filled their intern positions. Um, but I wound up finding Bonneville High School, which is my alma mater as well, and talked to them, and they seemed very interested in welcoming me as far as allowing me to come and intern with them. So I had an interview and turned into quite a process of paperwork, both BYU-Idaho and Bonneville High School paperwork. Um, and I got that finished and started my internship. One word of caution is that in order for you to have access to iLearn, make sure that you do your, your internship, have your master's agreement and the approval all done before you start working. It wound up costing me quite a few points in my grade um, but if you have all the paperwork done before you actually start your internship hours, then you'll, you should be okay in that regard. What were my responsibilities as an intern in the counseling department? Because I wasn't a licensed professional counselor, I, I didn't have a lot of opportunity to work with students in a one-on-one -on -one setting as far as counseling was concerned. In fact, I, I didn't have any opportunity, which I wish that would have been different but I understand legalities and ethically, that just wasn't a possibility. So as a counselor, I got to work with the, or as an intern in the counseling department, I got to work with the counselors in large group activities, mostly focused on, along the lines of academic advising and, and bettering oneself um, academically as well as just um, as an individual. So I did, um, the first day I went in, I was given a list of names of students who had one or more F's in their classes. Lots of these students happened to be freshmen. Um, and I was asked if I would do whatever I felt was best and necessary to help these students understand what they were doing that was keeping them from being academically successful and help them change those habits and those um, ways of life so that they could be more effective as students. So I first began with in-class observations. I took up a list of about 30 students um, and sectioned them off, working with five or seven at a time. And I went in and observed students for probably three weeks every day, all day, um, just observing their in-class behavior. I would try to see if they were paying attention, if they were um, doodling on their paper, if they were listening to music in their headphones, whatever I could find to see how that would interact um, both negatively or positively in their academic um, structure and if, if that would be a benefit or a detriment to them. Um, as I did the observations, it, it became evident that some had um, tendencies or habits in class that would distract them from their academic abilities, but also others, it seemed that they behaved themselves just fine and that they had no reason in class to be struggling with their academic capabilities. And so I started calling students in one by one um, and having them come in and we would discuss how their grades were, what their academic status was, and if they had, if they felt they personally had any challenges or frustrations academically. Many of these students came from broken and, and um, I guess, untraditional homes, um, rather it be single parents or divorce or um, even other circumstances that are a little more personal in some of their cases, but many of the students found that they didn't have a support system at home to help them um, to desire to do well in school, and they didn't have anyone to push them and help them, and so I kind of took that role as, as an adult figure that helped them um, and worked with them 
along the way, checking with them periodically, um, weekly in most cases, to find out how their academic uh, progress was going. And I was able to help many students, a few in particular, get a lot more on track and take responsibility for their academic um, responsibilities. The benefits. What were the benefits for me as an intern and what were the benefits for the high school? For the high school, I allowed their counselors to work in other areas. They didn't have to so much focus in academic areas that they could focus on actually counseling and helping people change their lives. Um, it freed up more time for them. They started a, a group to meet with students who were struggling. So they started a group um, meeting and they did team building activities and things like that. Things that they hadn't didn't have time to do prior to my being there. Um, I think another benefit for the high school was I gave some of the maybe less successful students one on one attention and time and, and help in ways that they probably never would have received it had I not had the opportunity to be an intern at Bonneville High School. Another benefit, I think, for the high school was that I brought a perspective and ideas that were different than what had already been there. It was a fresh face, some fresh ideas, and I had the opportunity to visit with many faculty and staff at the high school about how I felt things were different or could be done differently, as well as the other things that I thought that they did, um, which was mostly the case that that were very well done. Um, and I think maybe the greatest benefit of all is some of the students at Bonneville High School were able to change their lives. They changed their study habits, they changed the way they participated in class, and they gained a benefit of becoming more responsible and accountable for their academic status than they were previously. The benefits for me, on the other hand, um, I really enjoyed the internship and I had, you know, I felt very blessed at the opportunity to work with the students and see how their lives were changed. I also feel like I gained a, a much greater understanding of just how important family is in society and just how much having a dysfunctional family, whether it be emotionally, physically, um, spiritually, how much that can affect society. Most of the students that I worked with came from imperfect homes, which that's a lot of the world, and that's fine. Um, but I did see that that had a lot of effect on how they progressed academically. And that gave me a lot of, I guess, motivation for the future and how I want to try to bless families and individuals. So I think for me, it was very eye-opening to see um, how just different family dynamics um, affect a, an individual's life in the simplest things, such as going to school. Um, and I think that was one of the greatest things for me. It also, this this um, internship gave me an idea about what I want to do for my future. I began the internship thinking that school counseling was the only way to go, and that was the only thing. But I really struggled with the idea that I couldn't build the relationship that I'd hoped to with some of these students, just ethically and legally. It just wasn't capable of doing that. And so I decided that for me, the way I want to go is is I'm going to pursue an interest in counseling and family therapy. And I'm very thankful for the internship in that way because it really showed me what I did want to do, with what, what were priorities for me and things that were truly important to me that maybe I hadn't considered previously, previously to that. That's the biggest benefit for me is now I have direction and purpose in life and in my studies, and I know where I want to go. Um, and I'm very thankful for that. So would I recommend this internship site? Um, yes, if you have an interest in academic development of students. I feel like that's mostly what my internship was focused on. And so if you're interested in maybe one day becoming an academic advisor um, or a professional counselor in, like, in job services or something like that, then very much so I would recommend it. The site was a fantastic site as far as the, the people there and, and their welcoming. I just didn't have a lot of opportunity to sit in on, say, counseling appointments about personal issues and things like that, which ethically and legally, I don't know if that was possible, but I wish I would have been able to. Um, but if if that is your goal and if that's your interest is is professional counseling, I I. There wasn't a lot of that that happened, 
Um, school counseling is a very different type of counseling than marriage and family counseling. Um, and so there wasn't a lot of that that I got to observe. And it's, and that was one of the frustrations that I ran into. So for me, was it effective? Yes. Did I enjoy it? Yes. Um, would there have been a better internship for me? Very possibly. But if you're interested in the academic side of, of counseling in school, um, then very much so. I would highly recommend it. The faculty and staff were wonderful. The students were fantastic. And it, it was a great opportunity. So if that's something you're interested in is, is school counseling, then, then yes, by, by far it would be a fantastic um, opportunity for you. If you're hoping to do a lot of individual counseling or see a lot of individual counseling, then it may not be for you. So this concludes my um, video presentation. Thankful for the opportunity that I had to work in the counseling department. It was a fantastic opportunity. The staff, both at BYU-Idaho and Bonneville High School, were very welcoming and kind and helpful in this process, and I'm thankful for that opportunity. Have a great day.